Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to the channel. So in this video right here, we're gonna go over some mods that are available now for BMX trees that you can download and install into your own game. So let's start the video guys and get into how you can go about finding these mods, how to install them, how to use them and what they even do. All right, so we are here in BMX streets and this is where you load into the map for the first time. So you might notice a little graphical difference between my game and your game possibly right now. And if you don't, then let me explain what's happening with the graphics right now. The very first thing that you guys should know about is Reshade. So Reshade is a powerful post-processing application that you can install into many different games on your computer. And as you can see, if we have Reshade turned off, this is how the game normally looks. And if I have this application over here, I can simply turn on my filters and let me turn on my filters now. And this is how the game can look with your filters turned on. So you can use Reshade to adjust the coloring to however you want. This is just an example of what you can do. But if you prefer your game to look a lot different than the base game that it comes with, you can install Reshade from the links down below and this will make your game look a lot better. So installing Reshade is very easy, guys. All you would have to do is go to the website down below in the description, reshade.me, download Reshade, Follow the setup and install it into BMX Streets. It'll ask you what game you want to install it into. Just select BMX Streets. And you should also probably choose DirectX 11 as your installer too. So just choose those two things and install Reshade. After Reshade is installed into your game, you would press the home button on your keyboard. You can open up the application like this. And there's a bunch of different filters you can mess around with. You can change the, you know, the intensity of each one. And it's very useful to have this because it makes the game look much better especially on the base map. I'm not really sure what's happening to my guy's leg here, but we are on the drift cart. We were messing around on the on the base map here, just kind of cruising around. And there actually is a mod, guys, that you can use to unlock the cart like this for free, because as you may or may not know, you have to have 100 stars to unlock this cart. And I do have 100 stars to unlock it, but now there's a mod available that you can use to actually just unlock anything with stars without having to actually unlock it yourself, if that, if that makes sense. So. Anything with stars, unlock it for free with this mod. Everything just unlockable. So this mod right here, guys, is called Knoll's Multi-Mod. It's right in the middle of the screen here. When I press N on the keyboard, it opens up and you can close it with N on the keyboard as well. So just open and close with N. And it does a few different things. You can see that it's pretty clear what it does. Max stars on or off, never bail on or off. Mine are turned on currently and unlock all. When you click the unlock all, you'll actually change your save file. So be careful with this. So if you guys want to you know, unlock and do challenges by yourself and actually unlock these things yourself. Make sure that you don't press this because this will actually change your save file. But if you don't really care about that, you can just click unlock all and you'll beat the game instantly. So I haven't done that. I prefer to kind of just play through the game and I have, you know, a decent amount of stars now. So, so if you guys want just the bike, for example, or just custom characters that unlock with stars, you could turn on the max stars, for example. A very underrated thing, though, is this never bail. I have had it turned on this whole entire time, and this is probably the best thing that I've seen for this game, guys. This game is very tough to play, and I'd recommend this mod and this setting for every single new player to the game, especially myself, because I'm new to this game, I'm new to pipe, and new to BMX streets, and just BMX games in general. And this never bail thing is really cool because you can land 90 degrees. You can land really awkward directions and your guy will never bail even when you're off the bike. So I can be doing these tail whips and just let it hang. And he's, he still lands the trick. Like I could just hold a tail whip. And I don't know what I would use that for, but you know, it is nice to have this because you don't always want to bail. And take a look at this right here. So I found the dirt jumps, which is in the middle of the map. And it's really cool to have this. So let's go over to the top of the dirt jumps, do a few of these. And let's take a look at what the no bail mod can do for us. All right, so I have my controller overlay turned on in the bottom right corner. You guys can watch what I'm doing here. But we'll just kind of huck our sticks and I'll show you guys what the mod does with it turned on and off with, with the bails. Just do like a crazy trick, right? Just whatever. And you're gonna bail, obviously. And let's try like another one, maybe. Let's do like a nice uh, backflip tail whip or something. Maybe add in some 180s to it. And you're gonna bail no matter what, right? So let's use the new mod right here Knoll's multi mod to turn bails on or never bail on and now we can literally do whatever we want and we will never bail so very simple it actually makes the game feel much better because you can just land awkwardly and just keep riding like this so this is a really cool thing to have not only just because of you know that's one bail but it just keeps your flow and just lets you learn the game without having to go through the frustrations of falling every time you do a trick. So that's really nice to have, honestly. Obviously, it makes the game look and feel a little bit less realistic because you're not going to be bailing on anything, but that just makes you have to land tricks perfectly to make it look good. So if you guys want to, you know, make tricks look nice and look proper, 
you still have to do it properly. So this mod just makes the game more lenient and, you know, a little bit more casual to play. And I think it's really nice to have. So let's turn on max stars now and try this out. I do actually have the bike or the moto bike actually unlocked already. So I have 100 stars. You can see here. Oh, wow. When I open the menu now, I have 1300 stars. So I didn't even know there was that many stars in the game. And maybe I'm wrong about this, but when you use this mod, let me just turn this on and off. Okay, when I have the menu turned or opened up, it won't go away. So let me close the menu. Let me open it back up. And I have 103 stars. And that's insane. So I can go to my character now, right? And I have every single character in the game unlocked. Uh, Sean Burns, what the heck? What the heck is this? I don't think I've ever seen this. So th this mod is a brand new thing, guys, that you may or may not have seen yet. I personally have not seen this. Let me try this thing out. I, I don't know what the heck this is, I guess. I I've heard of fingerboarding, but like what? This massage in the bike, like what the heck is this? This is funny. So this is just an example of what you can do with this mod, but guys, because I have not unlocked this. I believe this hand or these characters take 300 stars to unlock some of them. So there you go. This mod unlocks everything in the game. So let's turn the max stars off. I'm not sure what this unlock all will actually do. I believe this is all your cosmetics. So all of these parts from body, steering, wheels, drivetrain, like every part in the game, there's hundreds and hundreds of parts, if not thousands. I don't actually know how many there are, but this button will unlock everything without you having to go find them in the boxes and do challenges. So if you guys want it, it's there. So I believe when you open the menu here by pressing left on the D-pad and you go to the map, this is how you teleport around the map. So you have to actually physically go to these locations, find the actual location itself. And then after you do that, they become available to teleport to on the map. So for example, let's teleport down to the seawall, which is at the very bottom of the map. You can teleport to downtown. You can teleport to the burbs like this. Very simple. There's a few different teleportation spots in the map like that, but you can see there's spots in the map that you can't teleport to. So there's just certain locations that you might want to go to easily, but you can't really get there through this map here. So there is a new mod for that, guys, and you would press Q on the keyboard to open this one up, and this is called the Quick Porter mod. It's right here in the top left of my screen, and this will show you guys different locations that you might want to go to, like the dirt track, for example, is the very first one here. So we were just here, and this mod brought us right back to where we just were. So this is amazing. So there's also Big Street Plaza. Oh, and by the way, you have to be on your bike to actually use this mod. I just clicked Big Street Plaza. Nothing works. So just make sure you're actually on your bike, and now you can click the, the button, and this will take you to the location. So this is Vancouver Skate Plaza, I believe it's called. This is a map in Mod or Skater XL. It's also a real skate park. And the, the Never Bail mod just stayed me there. So a combination of these mods, guys, makes the game so much better. I have the game looking better with Reshade. I have teleportation mods to take me around to locations I want to go to. I have the No Bail mod installed. I have, you know, custom characters unlocked with the stars. A lot of these things are really nice to have. So the next one we have is Small Street Plaza. I'm not sure which this one is. Small Street Plaza. Nice little skate park or a little bike park. We have Backyard Bowls. I have not seen this. So this mod might show you locations on the map that you haven't been to yet. And I have not been here because there's a challenge over there that I haven't done yet. And this looks super sick. I have not seen this bowl yet, but this is very cool. Oh God. Yeah, it's a very, very cool map. Oh, nice transfer. Oh, oh, baby. This game's actually amazing. And with the no bail mod, it's helping me a lot here because I you know I'm pretty casual with the game. I'm getting, I'm pretty new. I'm getting better though. And this mod's helping me out a ton by just letting me flow around without falling. So that's really nice to have. So next spot is Rooftop Skate Park. I have not been here at all either. I did not know this existed. This reminds me of Skate 3 though. This is definitely from Skate 3. So if you actually look down, I, I've heard of this spot. We're actually on top of a, of a building here. I'm not sure how you can get up. I just, I guess just scale the building from within. But this is a very nice looking spot. So let's hop back on our bike here and go to the cruise ship deck. So this is right on the cruise ship. I've never been on this ship. I don't think you're supposed to be on here because the textures look like they're a little bit lower resolution. I'm not sure if this is a spot that you should actually be on, 
This is kind of funny that we're actually here though. So, you know, if you guys want to go on the cruise ship, you can do that. So we have this spot right here, the nice down section. It looks pretty nice. I think I've been here before. So this is a spot you can teleport to now. This takes you right down to this plaza, which reminds me of the Skate 3 University District. This is the wall ride that it means right there in the middle there, the, the tower. Ooh, got saved by the no bail mod there. So that's how the wall ride kind of works. And the last few spots we have is urban streets. So I have not been here yet. You can see there's a lot of missions that I have not even finished yet. I've never even been here. So this mod's very nice to have just because of that. Industrial zone, I just teleport to this spot I've never been to. There's a box I can grab right there. Obviously I can use the mod to just unlock these things, but I kind of like exploring. So this is really cool. I gotta relearn how to pump. There we go. Try like a flare. Let's try a flare, it's like a backflip 180. I'll do the 180, nice. Kind of sloppy looking, a little calculated, slow turn. Nice, nice. All right, well, that's the industrial zone. And we have one more spot called Indoor Skate Park. You need 100 stars to unlock it, which I believe you can use probably the, the Noel Multi Mod to unlock the stars. And then after you use that, you can just go to the skate park because I think you need to have it unlocked to go there. But I, I do have 100 stars already, so I think I could just click that and it might just work. So let me try Indoor Skate Park. I have not been here at all. And how do you get in here? Oh, enter. Okay. There you go. So you have to find it. And this is kind of like a spoiler, I guess. Spoiler alert that uh, you do unlock this map after 100 stars. You have to go find it, enter, and that's that's where it is. There you go. What a beautiful looking map, though. So those are all the custom spots that you can teleport to and how you can get around the map and basically how you can unlock everything in the game. And those are the two mods that are, that are available to download for you guys right now. So go to the Evolution Discord. I'll leave a link down below to everything you need, guys. So you need to install Melon Loader and there's a little tutorial on how to install mods on the Evolution Discord. It's very easy to follow. But also I have a website that I made, guys. You could go to the link down below to this as well. There's a link on how to install these mods, where to get them from, how to use them. It's very, very, very easy. So you do need to download a few things before you can download a melon loader. So I have links to all of those on my website and in the Discord, obviously, as well, too, the Evolution Discord. So you just follow the guides right here. Click on these downloads, get these downloads. And then after these are installed, you can install a melon loader. Then after that, you simply just download your mods from the mods tab or from the Evolution Discord and just install them into your mods folder. Very, very, very easy. All right, so the last mod that I can show off to you guys today is still a work in progress. And it's made by Guru, who is a very famous modder for Skater XL. And he's now making mods and maps and stuff for this game as well. So let's take a look at this. I press Control G on the keyboard, and this opens up the Guru BMX mod in the top left. And this mod is not available quite yet. I'm just gonna show this off to you guys. And I'm sure Guru will be watching this video right here. So any suggestions or any feedback, definitely let us know in the comments because he's going to be adding a lot of stuff to this mod for us, guys. A lot more than what you see here. So let's take a look. So the very first thing, after you enable it, you have unlocks. Unlock all stars, unlock all rewards. And you can turn this on and off. I believe this has the same functionality as what I'd shown you originally with the multi mod. So you can turn your stars on and your rewards on and off. Another thing that we have here after unlocks, we have stats. And for now we have gravity and you can slide this all the way up to like 50. Oh, that actually goes opposite direction. I thought it was gonna be heavier. So I'm now outside of the map into space. All right, great. All right, so let's spawn back. We're on 50 gravity now. So whenever I pop, it's almost way too hard to pop. I can't even get off the ground. So this is heavy gravity. Here's 15 gravity. So this is a little bit heavier than default. You know, so this is kind of what you would probably go for if you guys want a more heavy game. This is, you know, a good gravity for that, like 15 or so, or maybe like 14. The default gravity is 12.5, but you can also go down to like, say, nine. So this is kind of like what Skater XL is, you know, floaty, right? If you guys want a more floaty, more casual game, you can definitely do that. And now I could probably backflip on flat, right? I could probably do that without the gravity if I was just better at the game, but you know, this is just there if you guys want it. Of course, you can also go down to one or you know, something crazy like this. You could just float forever. And it's just cool to know that these mods are available. So if you guys want them, there you go. 
So after the stats, what do we have next? We have multiplayer and you can change the lobby size from four players up to 32 players. So here we are, I have the lobby opened up and let's, close, let's go to a public lobby. So open now. And if you look at the bottom right corner there, it says I'm playing on a custom multiplayer lobby, one out of 32 players. So if I just leave it open like this, I think up to 32 players can join my server, which is actually insane. So another thing that Guru has added and it makes the game, you know, very beautiful, obviously, is the time of day. So you can control this within the main menu itself, but this gives you a little bit more control over the time of day. So we have time of day slider. You can literally just slide it like this. It makes it very quick to just change time of day at any time. You can, of course, do this within the base game itself, but just a little bit more intuitive, I guess. Time of day speed, you can change how fast the time of day changes because everything is dynamic and the time of day will actually change over time. So if you turn this all the way up, you can see the time changing live very quickly. So the very last thing that we should go over guys is custom maps in BMX streets because those technically are mods as well. They aren't script mods like the ones that we just shown off, but these maps definitely enhance your game and you guys might want to know how to install custom maps. And it's very, 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 very easy. So custom maps is probably the easiest thing to install into this game because it just requires the map itself. Just one download, put the map into a folder and you're just done. So I'll leave a link down below to mod.io and this will link you right to this right here, the BMX Streets page where you can download custom maps like this. And for example, here's DH City. This is a map from Skater Excel and Session that is absolutely amazing. There's a ton of new maps being added every single day. This game came out last week and there's already like, how many maps is this? It's insane. This is where you can get the custom Skate 3 University map, which is probably the most popular map in the entire game right now. The Shark Gap, you know, everything from Skate 3, the entire Skate 3 map is on this website right here. So everything you guys need for custom maps is right here. There's dirt jumps, there's indoor parks, there's, you know, street subway maps that are super realistic. So let's grab uh, DH City, for example. So what you would do is go to the download file like this. So if you have BMX Streets installed, you should have this folder automatically created for you by the game itself. So just install BMX Streets and take a look for this file right here. It's under this PC, Documents, BMX Streets, Maps. And this is very similar to Skater XL if you're used to modding that game. You just drag and drop your maps into this folder and after it's in this folder, they'll just show up into the game. So I have this new DH City map that I just downloaded. It's right here in my downloads. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this right here and put the, the zip file into my map folder and make sure that if it's in a zip folder like this, you extract it as well. So extract from here and that will give you the DH City map, which is right there. You can go ahead and delete the zip folder. So let's take a look at BMX Streets and this is the game. It's still opened up. I haven't even closed the game yet. And let's go to the menu now and under maps, you can see it's probably in here already. So where is it? DH Park, DH City right there. So the map is instantly installed into the game. You don't even need to close the game down. And I just loaded in and here we are at DH City. One of the best looking maps. It has a lot of recreated real spots from real life. Very beautiful map. So I did notice that nobody joined my lobby yet. I've worn out of 32 players, but they may not have the map or they might not be working, like the servers might not be working. I'm not really sure how this mod really works, but it does kind of work, it seems. But just keep in mind, the multiplayer mod may or may not work. I'm not really sure if the 32 players is a real thing that will happen, but stay tuned for more updates on Guru's mod because it's still a work in progress. It's not actually released yet. So I almost missed these here, but in the Guru mod, there actually is a pedal force menu where it enables you to pedal really quickly without pressing the A button repeatedly. So you can just change the settings here and it'll change how much you pedal by just holding the A button. So you can probably turn up pedal force like this or whatever. You can see now how fast he goes by just holding A. Oh my God. So you can change the settings. This is the extreme value, obviously the most extreme that you guys probably wouldn't want to use unless you're just having fun, but there you go. This is kind of crazy. Let's see how fast I can get across the entire map here. Just line it up and just bolt across the entire thing. Oh my God. Dude, this is insane. Oh, yo. All right, well, that is pretty sick to have. There you go. And there's actually one more slider here. So let's turn that off. I believe if you just turn it off, it'll just reset the default. 
and then there's drift bike and this is like stats for the drift bike so you can actually use this menu to spawn the drift bike itself so you don't need to actually use the in-game menu just press the spawn drift bike it'll spawn it in hop on oh that's the wrong hop on button so let me just hop onto my bike please yeah there we go and then from there you can change the settings anyways everybody that's it for today's video Hopefully this helped you guys out. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. Check out the Evolution Discord for all the latest mods and guides and stuff. That's where you're going to get all your mods from in the first place. But also the SkateBit website down below. I have a link to all the mods and a link to the guides and how to get these things. And not just for this game, but also for Skater XL Session, Skates. There's news there. I'll leave a link down below to the mod.io website for custom maps and all that good stuff. And Guru's Discord as well. So stay tuned for more updates, guys. I'll have more videos coming soon with more maps, more mods, and more stuff to do. And that is how you mod BMX Streets. And that's it. So, peace out, guys.